Hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm Gabby if you didn't know, now you know, and welcome to the last day of Vlogmas. Normally this would be like a what I got for Christmas type of video as the last day of vlogmas because normally you vlog on Christmas day Upload it the next day and that is it But I was really boring this year and I asked for nothing but gift cards So like not a fun video So instead we were doing one of the most requested videos that I got for this year's vlogmas And that was to do the Amazon gift swap with Lexi because we did it last year So if you didn't watch that video if you don't know how it works It stemmed from the Target gift challenge that like went viral on tiktok that was like you both go into target but you don't see each other and you buy so, like their favorite drink their favorite snack something in their favorite color something that reminds you of them something along those categories but lex and i don't live in the same state so we were like how can we do this but make it work where we both live and we were like amazon always the answer so last year we did like the very basic categories and we were like let's spice it up this year let's do something more fun so the five categories that we are doing are something to do when you're bored something to make your life easier something that starts with the first letter of your name something nostalgic and something for your sniffer aka something you can smell so today's going to be the first half of the video where i have my laptop we are going to go on amazon together and we are going to find stuff in all those categories for lexi so I started doing some kind of like research, trying to figure out certain things. And there's a few that I have a pretty good idea about. The ones I really have no idea is something nostalgic and something for your sniffer. I don't know what to do with those ones. But we are going to start with something with the first letter of your name because this one I'm pretty set on. And I think, obviously her name is Lexi. So I think I'm gonna do a lamp and I think I want to do the sunset lamp because it'll work for both apartments because she's in buffalo because sean moved to florida for that apartment already and i figured she hates the months of like january to may when it's just like the winter gray outside like it's just like this, the seasonal depression kicks in you know like when you live in the north it is just so cold and it's not the fun of like christmas season anymore so i think i want to do the sunset lamp that way it kind of brings that like golden hour like beachy feel into her apartment while it's still winter so i think that's what we're gonna do i want to find a good one that obviously will be here in time because i only have a few days and i don't know which one i want to go with okay this one says it'll be here tomorrow okay boom i think this is what we're going with has a different color options it's a very like sleek little lamp so it's not going to take up too much room you got some options it's arriving tomorrow so love that the next category that I'm pretty set on is something to do when you're bored. And she's always said that she wanted to learn how to do calligraphy. And I feel like now for the first time, she's actually going to have some downtime since Sean's not living there. And a lot of her like main tests and the like stressful part of dental school is done. So she's not gonna have much work outside of like clinical. So I think it would be a good time to do like a calligraphy set for beginners and have her start to learn calligraphy. Okay, this one is a number one bestseller, a step-by-step -step guide for calligraphy. It just kind of gives like all the different kinds of like cursive and calligraphy with all the letters. I want it, I hope it has more of these where it's like actual sayings and stuff too. But I think this is a good first step. So adding that to the cart, arriving before Christmas, we love that. Okay, two down, three to go. Next category that I'm pretty set on is something to make your life easier. I had no idea where to go with this one, but then I remembered, so the tripod that Justin has, he definitely didn't get it off Amazon, but it combines so nicely into like just a little, probably like this big and like super small. And it's just so much easier to carry around. The tripod that I have and that Lexi has is just massive. It's like heavy duty. It's so hard to bring around. Even when it's folded up in the smallest bit, it's still probably like yay big if not even bigger than that i remember her saying all the time that like the tripod justin has is so nice to carry around and she wishes she had one of those so i'm gonna do some research try to hopefully be able to find a dupe for the one he has on amazon because obviously that's something that's definitely going to make her life easier that she can easily put in a bag and bring around for whenever she takes pictures because she's not going to have sean around to take her pictures so she's going to be needing to take them by herself for the next like couple months i think this is it so when it's folded up it's that small which okay compared to my phone i think that sounds about right 
I think that's probably the size of Justin's. This is the exact look of his. So like how different could it be? It starts very, very small and it gets as big as we need it. So I think this is it. It's coming before Christmas. It checks all the boxes. Definitely going to make her life easier. Okay, so for something that you can smell, I remember her saying something about a car air freshener a while ago when we were first coming up with like the categories and stuff she needs. So I might look around and see if I can find one of those. If not, I probably might go like the funny route and see if I can just find a funny candle. This is kind of cute. So this is a essential oil car diffuser, but look how cute this is. Like, I know that she likes these like colors of blue. This is super cute. So we might keep our options open. That's definitely option one. Okay, wait, I feel like she mentioned this before and those are like the homesick candles. So I don't know whether to go the Florida route because while she's in Buffalo, she can smell it. So it's like giving her that sensation, you know, kind of bringing her vibe back. Or if I do the New York candle smelling one and that way she can take it with her to Florida and it's like a part of New York that they have there. But she'll probably burn through the candle before they even get to Florida. And honestly, that'll be hard to pack the candle. So we're going to do the Florida candle. So just like aesthetically, it's cute. I don't know what it smells like. Okay, scent of Spanish moss. Wait, she loves that. This is a good one. Okay, yes. Going with this, I was gonna go the funny route, but I actually think this is really cute. And yes, this is it. Okay, add to cart. Okay, so I'm currently over budget already. <laughs> the budget was around $100 and I'm currently at 105 for the four things. So I think we're gonna go the cheap route for something nostalgic and just get something small and maybe this one will go funny. But I don't know where to go with this at all. I'm gonna ask, my dad just got home for lunch actually, he just went upstairs, but when he comes down, I might ask him what we like did as kids or like what something funny that would like bring her back to that time because I have no idea. So I'm just gonna search up random categories on Amazon right now, try to get inspired somehow and see where it takes us. I don't know where to go at all. I just went on a deep rabbit hole of everything that could have been possibly from the 2000s. I went like games, I went accessories, I went fashion, I went like literally everything. I asked my dad and he like kind of helped but wasn't really the vibe I was going with. And then I was like, okay, there has to be something that I have a picture of in my phone that's gonna like bring me back to the times. And I found this picture of her. Okay, the glare is awful. And she's wearing a blue bucket hat. And I was like, I know she's kind of been into bucket hats. And again, it's something that's like not gonna make the move harder, but something that she'll be able to use a lot in Florida. So I found this one that's really cute that if she doesn't want it, I'll take it because I love it. But it is a blue bucket hat. It has the little smiley face. And I just feel like this is super cute and she'll get a lot of use out of it. Definitely nostalgic and like brings us back to like being kids. I'm gonna favorite that picture right now so I don't lose it because when I do the gifting part and I like open up the presents with her and I explain everything, I'm gonna bring up that picture. So that concludes the shopping part. Everything is coming before Christmas. It is come out to 113, which is pretty close to the budget. And now the second half of this video is going to be me opening the presents that she got me. And then you have to go to her channel to then see her open these presents. So making sure that everything is coming on time. Everything is coming the 23rd. Perfect. So that is everything. And let's go into the other half of this video. And we are here now for the second half of the video because the packages have arrived. So this is what Lexi ordered for me. So I have the woman, the, the woman man herself, Alexandra Fuller. Hello, so Sydney. this is going to be like the bootleg version of how we're going to do this because on her channel, I'm going to actually order the presents to her place when I'm there. So it'll be a lot better because I can be there with her for when she like opens them and I can explain everything. So you're going to have to go check out part two of this video on her channel after, but we're gonna get started. So anytime I sit on the floor, Cloud thinks that I'm only down here to play with him. So um, there's gonna be lots of doggo happening in this part, but hopefully he can stay entertained for a little bit. So this is the first package. We're gonna start small. Okay, I'm not looking at it. So what category is it for? Something nostalgic. Something nostalgic, okay. I need to like, just set you up here. How can I do this? Put me in your tripod facing the camera. Okay, yeah, we'll do that. Something nostalgic. I still have not seen it. Cloud is intrigued. Oh, are these the little neon stars? The glow in the dark stars, but they're your colors. They are cute. I don't know where I'm gonna put them. But so they're like the 
Yes, we used to have these, the like yellow ones, but these are the Tiffany blue, and they're little glow-in-the-dark stars that you put like on your ceiling or on your wall or wherever. I don't know where those are gonna go, but this was a cute idea. How did you even come across this? I thought it would be really cute around your sign, but then I'm like, okay. you shut off like your sign, so I don't know how bright they get. Um, I was looking for something nostalgic, and I was between getting like either nostalgic candy, like I was gonna get you the wax bottle thing, mm. and then I was like, but that's kind of like, Cool, like it's a cool thing, but you can't really like keep it. Right, it's like cool for ten minutes and then. And then I was gonna get you like a crew neck sweatshirt with like the big comfy pouch or something nostalgic <laughs> on it. And then I was like, you wouldn't actually wear that, and I couldn't even find it. So I found those, and I thought it was perfect. Super cool. Yeah, fun idea. Okay, what is this? Something to do when you're bored. Code names. Wait, we never ended up playing this, so I don't know how. Okay, but I'll show you. Okay, fun. Yeah, she was talking about this all Thanksgiving break and we were trying to find an app to do it and I guess like none of the apps were working. So you we never got to. Home. What? I might have to bring it home? So we can play it. I don't know if I can pack this. <laughs> well, you just need, I think you just need the card. So you may be able to take that and put it in like a Ziploc bag or something. I'll have to look at it. Okay, we'll see. But yeah, I have no idea how to play this, but I'm a big, big board game girl. So I am excited. Next up is a box that I'm assuming has, what, it has had like three things in it? Uh, okay, this is the something that starts with the first letter of your name. Guacamole? It's guacalock. A guac It's a guac saver since when you have guacamole it gets bad so easily. Okay. And the reviews say that it actually works. So I figured if you get guac from Chipotle with chips you can actually save it and it'll stay good in your fridge. It's also just a nice Tupperware container because all of a sudden our all of our containers have gone MIA and I've grown legs and walked away and we somehow have like two. So this there is a decent go. size too, but interesting. So it like locks it in place. The guac, and the reviews say that it actually keeps the guac from turning brown. Yeah, it says say adios to brown guacamole. Huh, fancy. They come out with just about anything now. Your sniffer. <laughs> is this a candle? It's a middle finger candle. Oh my God, but it like, it's so aesthetic. Yeah. It's like black. Wait, I want to take it out. I thought it was so cute. Speaking of, guess who it DM'd me? Doesn't even have a scent, but I just could not get it. Guess who DM'd me today, speaking of candle? Who? The company with the like Air Jordan candles. 11 okay, 11. I'm going to get you that, but they're backwards, so I got you this one. On well, perfect, because they DM me today, so I cannot wait to work with them and get one because I think it's just going to match our house so well. This is so funny. Isn't it so funny? I think I'm gonna put it out now. Justin's gonna come over and be like, what the heck is that? He's gonna love it. <laughs> no, this I is great. So I, yeah, I don't think I'm ever gonna burn this. It's just I to know. have it there. But this is fantastic. Good job. Wow. I so too. You're killing this. It's pretty big, I think. Okay, good, yeah. This is make your life easier? Yeah. What is this? A Tiffany Blue milkshake maker. Oh my God. Wait, he's gonna go crazy over this. I know, I figured you guys would love it. What's what's the difference between a milkshake maker and like my little Nutribullet thing or whatever I have? I don't even know what I have. I don't know, this one's for milkshakes and it's too <laughs> No, it's so cute. But, I mean, yeah, no, he's a big fan of milkshake. He makes Fruity Pebble milkshakes all the time. Well, and I figure- It's so cute. Yeah. You could actually keep it out on your counter. It's cute. It matches the toaster. Like yep. the vibe of it, like looks kind of retro. This yep. is fun. I'll have to make a milkshake. I hate that we're filming this so late because like now I won't even get to use this stuff in Vlogmas. But we just wanted to be able to at least film part of it while we're together. But you did fantastic. High five. Good job. You have big shoes to fill on your end. I know, but luckily I, I'm glad I kind of did this first because now I get to go. I'm filming this totally out of order. I didn't even order hers yet. But now that I know the vibe you went, I feel like I'm gonna be able to step my kitty up and do a good job. Just keep in mind, I'm like packing and moving and everything, so nothing that's gonna- Crazy, my I know. I'm gonna try to go practical.